Two of the questions facing Baylor. Can the Bears replace Heisman Trophy winning quarterback Robert Griffin III? And without RG3 and several other playmakers, will Baylor slip into the bottom of the standings? The answers? No and probably not. Replacing RG3 figures to be a near impossibility. His talents and leadership earned him college football's highest award. But Coach Art Bryles has built a program that appears capable of again reaching a bowl game. You know, I think we've done a, a, a really good job of recruiting, you know, high quality athletes, student athletes over the last, you know, four or five years. And so we got good people in place that uh, certainly have learned how to win. So I think we're certainly going in the right direction. Senior quarterback Nick Florence, who played most of the 2009 season when Griffin was injured, has been in the system for four years. Baylor must replace leading rusher Terrence Ganaway and leading receiver Kendall Wright. But there are plenty of talented candidates waiting to fill those shoes. Despite winning 10 games, including a bowl victory last season, the Bears relied heavily on their offense. Baylor finished 116th in total defense and allowed 37 points a game. Bryles, though, believes that there is more experience, talent, and speed on the defensive side and that the defense will be improved after spending a second season under veteran defensive coordinator Phil Bennett. Baylor's season opener will be against SMU on September 2nd in Wake Up. The Bears start Big 12 play September 29th in Morgantown against Big 12 newcomer West Virginia. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.